<laughs> well guys, got this record a few weeks ago. Finally getting around to doing the review now. I uh, wanted to wait for this one. Uh, so we got Wolfgang, Mozart, and this record is from Germany. Here's all the artists that work on it, I guess. Um, must have been from either Germany or Paris, I forget. So, here's the year, 1756-1791. There's all the songs. Uh, great classical music record. 1968 original, I believe. Um, if it is really 19... From 1968, it is in excellent condition. Looks nearly brand new. Uh, the cover does. Let's get inside and look at this. Your booklet, pretty much. Um, I'm not going to show it all, but those are the characters that the songs are done after. Um, this is all pretty much in French. There's a few English things in here, but it's not really readable. So here are the records. They're all in excellent condition. I'm not going to take them out. Might not even play them. But here's that. They all look ex just absolutely brand new. These covers look brand new. Um, which kind of leads me to believe. Here's all the records. One, two, three. Um, four. So this looks like it's a. Uh, One through seven. So these are the sides. Sorry. One, two. No. <laughs> They're out of order on here and here for now. There's all four records. Or, yeah. There they are. Um, I will get around to playing them and telling you how they sound. I'm pretty sure they sound good because they, they look uh, unused. They don't look used at all. I looked at them at the shop at half price books. And they look spectacular. And I'm sure they're going to sound very good too. Um, I do have some a CD of this, uh, some of some classical music that I was listening to, and it's quite good. Um, however, I do like the record format. Let's sit down here for a minute. Um, but, you know, records are good for, uh, pretty much any music, really, as long as it's not compressed to shit. Um, probably will be picking up some more of these. There's some white label, uh, or white covered, uh, classical music records at the half price books that are 98 cents a pop, so I'll be buying those up to <coughs> as many as I can. Or I'll buy as many as I can fit in uh, in my room and in the closet and in my little, you know, pretty much anything that will fit in the closet and my closet and my crate that I'm going to have to get a few crates of these records. Um, <clears throat> I don't know when I'll be picking those up. Probably within a m like two weeks to a month, probably. That's going to be a maybe at this point. I don't know. Whoops. Um, sorry, watching High Road Truckers, too. Um, so, yes, expect some more of these records. Uh, some more. <coughs> I'll be buying some 90s records. Uh, some more Metallica reissues that came out uh, earlier this year and last year. Or earlier this year. Um, expect some more, some more CDs. I might not be getting very many more. <sighs> um, probably be getting about, I don't know. 50, 50 more CDs and I might be done with my collection for a while. We'll see what happens with all these releases in the future. Uh, but yes, very great record. Uh, got it for one dollar, by the way. Forgot to mention that. And it is... Is that not going to focus? 1968 Polydor International. They also release uh, records for Metallica. Or had, or they might still do. Yes, this is printed in Germany. This damn thing will focus. And it will not. But well, it says it's printed in West Germany by Schwitzdudel and Schwanz in Berlin, Germany. So, original four LPs. 
the number on it is douche gramophone two seven one one double oh seven and it's a four l p stereo it's all right there if you want to look it up you might be able to get a reissue of this or maybe even a used copy that came out uh around this time. This is actually a sticker that's on here. So great deal. I saw this at Half Price Books um, three weeks ago, or uh, two weeks ago, and then I went back for it again uh, the following day. So great deal, guys. Go to Half Price Books if you want deals on movies, VHS, DVD, um, video games. Uh, the now their stock uh, varies from store to store since it is a used store. Rarely do they have new new PlayStation One games. I've seen a few, but uh, most of the time they're just unopened. They're not, you know, reissues or reprints. Um, they also pretty much sell um, pretty much anything new you can find. Uh, very, they specialize in used uh, items, though. Um, you can find boxed Sega games there. Um, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, um, PSP, uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy games, very, I seldomly see those there though, the Game Boy games. Um, Nintendo is very far few in between also on these, at these stores. They also sell new and used computer games, um, computer software for, you know, like, uh, Rosetta Stone. Uh, PlayStation 2 games um, I find every so often at one one location I go to but <sighs> great store uh, excuse me great store to go to pretty much for books uh, games movies in any format you can find them in except for beta I've never seen any beta tapes there <laughs> so it didn't fare too well over here in America uh, there's still a market for them, I think, in China, I believe. There's still, there's, uh, it, it was, blew up really big over there. Um, so yes, go there f to have price books and movies, games. Uh, laser discs, uh, um, you can find a lot of laser discs at, uh, half price bookstores for very, very reasonable prices. Anywhere from, movies can be anywhere from, uh, a dollar to five dollars on the laser discs, uh, or maybe a, a little bit more. But records you can find at any half price bookstore for a very, very reasonable price. And some of it's not junk either. Some of it's actually stuff that you'd want to buy. Uh, and they also, all of these half price books stores that I've been to have a collector's section. And those also vary from store to store in terms of what they have and, you know, it's collectability and the prices for their collector's items. are. You are going to pay collector's prices for that. So be prepared for that. Bring your money or pocketbook or, you know, checkbook or credit card. So, yes. That's my little promotion and video, and that's it for now, guys. So, have a good one.